Hi world, it's Chad. <clears throat> Good morning. Um, I've been doing a lot of thinking since the uh, election results, and I believe that President Obama won his second term out of fear. We as citizens of the United States have been living in a state of fear ever since he got in and before. You know, we had the World Trade Center attack 9-11 and the Pentagon, all this stuff. The, the Benghazi, Senator Stevens was killed, murdered. Um, we have been a nation living in pure fear. Most of us have gotten by. Most of us, when we went to vote, probably thought, well, I'm surviving. I've made it so far. Things are bad, but they can't get any worse unless we make a change. And if we make a change, maybe things will get a lot worse. There's a lot of fear out there. I know for a fact there's a lot of fear and disinformation about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, which most people refer to as Mormons, okay? There's a lot of fear there. There's a lot of disinformation that they're not Christians, that they are Satanists, that, you know, all kinds of stuff, that they got their own secret army and secret things and plans and powers and that if Mitt Romney were to be elected president, he'd just be a puppet of the prophet of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And there's all this fear. You can turn on Alex Jones. Fear, fear, fear. The news networks. Fear, fear, fear. The TV. Fear. Oh no, we're, we're you know, under a a threat. Fear of radiation from Fukushima. Fear that our world is just going to frickin' explode. But it hasn't done it. We've been okay. So far, under Obama, he's kept us alive, he's kept us from uh, being totally destroyed as a nation, he's kept us from absolute civil war. There's fear of riots. There was nothing but months before the elections. There was nothing but talk about if Obama's not reelected, then there's going to be riots in the streets that, you know, come out. The new Black Panther Party said that the, the nation will burn if Obama is not reelected. Um, the judge in Texas wanted to beef up his town security if Obama was reelected. Okay, there has been some fights and riots, but they've been very small because of Obama's reelection. Um, there was a fight at my son's school several of them about the election because Obama has a second term and these kids can't even vote okay they can't even vote but parents are pumping our kids full of fear now do we have reason to fear this president? Yes, we do. 
we have good reason to fear. Do we have reason to fear the change to a new president? Yes, there is some fear. Whether it's real, it's, it's real because those who feel it know that it's real. But it's manufactured what if fear. The fear of the unknown. The fear of change. The fear that, you know, could make things so much worse when people are still getting by. Okay? And the, one, the only reason that people are getting by is because of a plastic card. A plastic card has carried our nation for these last few years. I know they've bought my groceries. They've bought my medications for my family. They've paid bills. The credit cards are almost up. We are only able to pay the interest and then a little bit down on the other. And it shouldn't be that way. We have had to pawn so many things that are of value. The pawn shop doesn't take tools anymore because they have so many tools they don't take them unless it, of course it's brand new just come from Lowe's or Home Depot or some hardware store still in the box and you'll get twenty dollars for a hundred dollar sawzall <clears throat> we have been controlled by fear and because of fear the citizens of the United States have elected Obama a second term. Maybe possibly to give him a chance to make it right. People wanting to do right. People wanting to do good. People want President Obama to do the things that he says he's going to do. But most people don't even know some of the bull crap that he has done. Most people don't know about the NDAA. Most people don't know about the um, the drones that are going to be flying over. Most people don't know about the many things that's gone on under President Obama's administration. Now, of course, they find out about the hookers and all this kind of petty stuff. But the real dangerous stuff they don't know and I've learned from uh, my family that I've been causing them great stress I've been causing them to feel feelings that they don't want to feel because I've been telling them the truth of what's been going on it's got to the point where I can no longer talk about anything that I learn, see, hear, or have knowledge of, of what's really going on, other than day to day. Would you go take the trash out? Would you finish washing the dishes? Would you finish doing the laundry? Could you go start the laundry? We vacuum the floor. I'm going to go take the and uh, change the kitty litter box. Um, I'll go get our son from band practice. You know, other than that, other than getting by from day to day, they don't want to hear anything that I have to say, that I have learned, any truths that I have to divulge. I can no longer do so because of the fear that I have been creating in them by telling them the truth. 
Now I did not intend to put fear into my family, into my wife and kids. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry if I made any of y'all have fear. I'm only trying to tell the truth. And with truth does come some fear. But you can do good things with fear. Instead of put your head in the sand and <clears throat> walk away. Or turn on the television to Family Guy and sit there and watch an adult cartoon. There's other things you can do with fear, like do something about the problem. But first, you've got to know that there's a problem. And that is part of the biggest problem, is that people don't think there is a problem, because they don't dare look into the face of fear. I don't know for sure what's going to happen. in the future I know all of a sudden the Fox and CNN and all are saying uh, that we have an asteroid as big as Texas and they've named it Nibiru and it's supposed to come by and hit us um, go on the drug report you'll see it but we are a divided country we are split right in half right in half yesterday I did not watch President Obama's victory speech I did not watch Mitt Romney's um, speech of conceding of defeat I did not want to watch anything that had to do with that puppet show going on there. I couldn't do it. So I am planning on just doing my best to work, to provide the things I can, and to ride this thing out and pray for the best hope for the best and prepare for the worst because we all know that there's things coming the Bible has predicted things like a laundry list and things have happened exactly the way that they are meant to happen there is a grand plan that is beyond all of us and none of us know the whole plan these things we go through can only make us stronger if we endure through them and anymore you know this life this world that we live in is nothing but a school where we learn where we learn to control our bodies where we learn different things where we experience things of the soul things of the mind and body we enjoy things we experience so many things that's good for us we experience things that's bad for us. We learn from those experiences. Okay? People were afraid that if Mitt Romney got elected president, that their food stamps would be no more. That they wouldn't have an Obama phone anymore. People saw the numbers that came out early. In all honesty, I think that no numbers should be given until the election is totally, completely finished. You don't let the other side know that you're beating them by 
three to one or else they will get up and they will go in mass and take care of the problem in the twelfth hour and that's exactly what happened all day long <clears throat> Romney was ahead of Obama by three to one when people started hearing that they started freaking out fear 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 Alex Jones helped Obama win his second term I don't care what any of you say there are many of us who helped Obama win his second term because of the double bull crap of the lesser of two evils when we couldn't give Mitt Romney a chance a good man they brought up people to lie about him they brought up this and that well I know some stories of people that prayed to God about what to do their power is fixing to get shut off and they saw the lady saw a Romney bus went and followed the bus went to Governor Romney and said they're fixing to shut my power off he freaking paid her power bill and made sure she had groceries and stuff for her kids I want to hear where Obama has done something like that I want to hear it I want to see it Mitt Romney gave the veterans administration hospital in his state bought them milk for the veterans for several years and sworn his driver to not tell where it was coming from he didn't want them to know it was coming from him because he didn't want to be seen doing these things and that's how Christians are supposed to be we're supposed to not be seen doing good but the effect of the goodness will be seen this is chatty dad one and uh, this is just my thoughts and feelings on why President Obama's got his second term. I'm interested to know what y'all think. I love you guys. I pray for you. God bless us all. Good luck. Over and out.